up guys, Thaddeus here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video guys, we're gonna be talking about drop shipping trends, okay? And why for most drop shippers, this is kind of the go-to, um, basically because you kind of know what to sell. And I'll, I'll explain that in a little bit, but basically guys, with drop shipping, with trends, everything's seasonal, right? I wanna talk about seasons, okay? Like, it's allergy season. I have allergies right now. I don't know if you can tell, but that's besides the point. Basically, we're going into summer, right, or spring, and basically with with drop shipping stores, right, at least for me, when I do seasonal stores, because for the most part, I do um, steady stores, and then I have two different seasonal stores, okay? So basically, how I go about doing that, right, is summer and winter, right? Those are my two biggest seasons that I capitalize on, uh, and personally, those are the only seasons that I really think are worthy of just, you know, diving into. Um, but with that being said, guys, the, the whole point, um, and what I'm gonna show you guys here in the screen share, right, is, is jumping on these different trends, right? And there's seasonal trends, okay? There's things that become really, really big in the summer and then fade away after the next few months until summer starts coming back up again, right? And the exact same thing goes for winter, okay? That's what I wanna show you guys in the screen share to kind of walk you guys through like why you should be looking at trends if you're not already, okay? And then because of that, right, I know a lot of you guys are just starting out drop shipping, or even if you do have experience drop shipping, what you want to do, right, is obviously like like diversify. Okay, so even with me, I got started selling products that I could usually like 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 a sustainable product, right? So like every month, I know I'll get a check of relatively the same amount if I keep doing what I'm doing. Okay, now with drop shipping trends, right, is hey for the next three months or for this current season that you're you know that you're that you're creating your store in. Those three months, four months, however long it is, those can be very, very big months for you, okay? And then it completely dies off. And that's what you have to get comfortable with with dropshipping is that you have to be comfortable saying like, oh, okay, this store, it was good for three and a half months, it was good for four months, it's done now, I'm dropping it, I'm making a new one for this season, okay? And then, you know, summer comes back around or whatever, right? And then you restart the store. Like, you gotta be comfortable doing that, guys. You have to be comfortable creating new stores, creating this, this, this. Most of you guys are like attached. You're like, you're literally emotionally attached to your store and you don't wanna let go of it, you don't want to change stuff in it. You don't want to do that and that. You have to kind of, you have to look at it as an object, guys. That's the very first thing I want to talk about. Like your store is your employee. Like your store works for you. Okay. If your store is not making money, you like you cut that thing off, right? So you don't like mess with it. Okay. Obviously, guys, if you're just starting out, like you need to actually test and experiment and don't give up. Okay. I'm not saying give up, right? I'm saying experiment and change things up a bit. Okay. But hopping in the screen share, guys, I want to show you guys a few cool trends that you guys can look for because I like the whole point of my videos, guys, is I want you guys to be able to watch a video that I make for you guys and literally right after the video, be able to go to your store and do something and apply something that you've learned in this video, right? Or even just make a whole new store because of a certain video, aka this video, okay? So, hopping in the screen share one second, let me get that started. All right guys, we are on the screen share. I'm tiny now, we're on Google Trends. This is one of the very best free, um, information tools out there guys okay so what I'm talking about right so we're approaching summer okay at least at least for, for the US and um, North America we're not right so we're, we're moving into the summer months and what you want to do right especially if you're kind of like looking into jumping on these seasonal trends is look for things that people use in the summer right now you'll see here I've already typed in floaties as a, a search term okay and what you guys will see right off the bat is that you know these summer months they're very, very popular search terms, okay? But I want to show you guys something interesting, right? So if I type in swimsuit, right? It's gonna be a lot more popular, look at this, okay? It is a lot more popular than floaties, okay? But then again, if we move here to the past five years, right? Because again, we're, this is only a 12 month time frame, so this is only capturing like one season of summer, okay? So if we move down to the past five years, okay? This is what you guys will see, right? Now look at this. Right, this is uh, in 2013, all right, in the very, very far left, and then this is 2017 in the far right. Now, what I, what do you guys notice, right? Obviously, you guys see spikes every single year, so that, that right there shows you that it's a seasonal trend, all right? So when you guys are searching for products, searching for whatever you're doing, right, you, you literally just add something to compare, and you just search in Google Trends, and it'll compare things like to different metrics, all right? So that's why you guys, I can compare floaties and swimsuits. Obviously, swimsuits are gonna be a much broader, larger thing, because it encompasses a lot more, and floaties is a little bit more narrowed, but besides the point, like, what I wanna show you guys is not just the fact that it's it's spiking every every year, okay? That's good and all, like, that right there kind of clarifies, okay, this is a seasonal trend, I can do this, but, but what you guys notice is every year, it's 
growing. So it's a growing industry. That's the key point that I want you guys to like to, to, to realize. Um, and you'll see that with most trends, all right? But I don't want you guys to actually like see something that, you know, it spikes every year, but it's actually, you know, staying the same or in a, in a declining um, industry. So basically what you guys have noticed like here, right? It's pretty small. So floaties is at its current rank of 14 at this rank in 2013, right? But if we go to 2017, it's at a 36 rank, okay? So that's nearly, I mean, it's about double, it's literally actually like almost double. Um, it's, it's ranking, right? That Google actually like allocates to it. So what does that mean? Is that in the past, you know, five years, the, the industry, at least in terms of searches, like people searching for floaties has doubled, okay? And every year it's been growing, okay? It looks like it's been growing at least, you know, 10% 10, 10 or something like that, okay? So that means this coming summer, you can expect a 10% increase in this industry, in, you know, the, the summer trends industry, okay, guys? What does that mean? It means that there's more room for people to get in the market, okay? There's more room for you to hop in the market. There's more room for you to take more market share and actually drive some freaking results, okay? So. After doing that, right, obviously like, so this is summer, okay, I have another one I wanna show you guys, so. This one is just more winter based, right? This is gloves. Um, obviously that's not directly winter based because you know, they can be work gloves, they can be all this kind of stuff or even like um, ski shoes, everything like that. But if we move the past five years, we should see a spike. I haven't tested this out, I could be wrong. But yeah, look at it, okay? So literally the past five years, right? But, but this, is, this, is, this is the point that I wanna talk about, okay? Every year, guys, it stayed relatively the same. Look at this. So gloves, every year it stayed about the same in terms of search volume, okay? Every single year, the past five years. That means there's not a growing number of people searching for it, okay? That means that it could be a little bit challenging trying to enter that space. I'm not saying it is gonna be really hard, not at all, because again, if you can market well, then you can sell anything, okay? But for those of you that are kind of getting into the space or for those of you that are just looking for something that might be a little bit easier to um, just get the grasp on or actually like claim a little bit of market share, this is not what you wanna look for, okay? guys? Again, I, I wanna give you guys valuable information that you can literally just take and apply to your store or go make a store and use this information to actually get some solid results. So what that means is I would not do gloves because the industry is staying stale. It's, it's not growing, okay? But if we go back to floaties, it's growing like 10% every single year on a year by year basis, which means this coming summer you guys can expect what? A large amount of people searching for floaties, right? So, I mean, like, guys, you can do this with anything. I'm not saying floaties, and I wouldn't do floaties, because FYI, I do floaties as well on the down low. What? I just showed you guys one of my products. But, 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 this is what I'm trying to get at, guys, is that you can sell anything. Just look for trends that are seasonal, okay? And then look for a growing market, all right? That's the biggest factor that I don't think people realize. Like, people are good at finding things that just, you know, they come and go every single year um, that, that are trendy, right? But they fail to realize that, hey, this trend might be stale or it might be dying or there's not a growing number of people. Because if there's a growing number of people looking for it, that means there's new people to the market, which means there's new people that are not familiar with, like, the, the top dogs or, you know, the best in the industry, whatever it is. They're not familiar with it. They're just searching for stuff which means that you can be the person that shows them the stuff, okay guys? So that's what I really wanna get at. Um, again, this is a very, very simple video, but I'm sure one of you guys watching this video is gonna take this information, apply it, and then have you know, a $50,000 a month uh, this summer. Not even joking, okay? So that's what I wanna get with this video, guys, is just, hey, these are seasonal trends, and this is why you know, this is, this is a, a dropshipper's best friend is, is the seasons, because Every single season, there's something that grows in demand. And being a dropshipper, you guys can make stores in a day. Once you know the process, you guys can get your marketing up within a few days and start driving results right away, okay? So you can literally be in a market in just a few days. That's the beauty of dropshipping. That's why these seasons are amazing because you can really hop into something super, super quick. And that's why I want to make the video, guys. So that is the video. Please leave a like. I love your guys' support when you do show the love. So do leave a like. Do comment. I respond to everybody's comments personally, believe it or not. And subscribe, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are growing fast. We are going ham. And uh, the zero to 1K challenge, more information is going to be dropping on that very, very shortly. You guys are gonna be in for a nice little surprise. But um, that challenge is dropping. There's a zero to 10K invite only. Um, that'll also be available. But basically, like, I want people to go through the zero to 1K first, um, just to basically like know stuff first before kind of driving, like trying to scale their site without knowing anything about um, drop shipping. Um, so there's that. There's also a very, very exclusive zero to 50K program. But again, you have to go through everything, all right? And then zero to 1K, all that stuff's completely free for you guys. So it's just, you know, value bombs um, that I hope you guys enjoy. So that is the video. 
Again, guys, please leave a like. Uh, my allergies are killing me, so I'm gonna go take some allergy medications right now. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e commerce related from the mastery course, free PDFs, and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.